Every gardener knows the struggle. You've planted your seeds, watered them diligently, and just when they're about to bloom, pests invade your garden. Yes, we're talking about those uninvited guests that feast on your beloved plants like it's their personal buffet. Be it the tiny aphids, the voracious caterpillars, or those pesky slugs, each of these culprits can turn a thriving garden into a battleground in no time. But what if we told you that there's more to these creatures than meets the eye? Yes, they can be annoying and destructive, but they are also part of a larger ecosystem that, when balanced, can lead to a vibrant and healthy garden. That's right. The secret is not to eliminate these pests entirely but to manage them effectively. Now you might be thinking, that sounds great, but how do I do that? Well, the first step is understanding your enemy. Knowing what pests you're dealing with and their life cycles can help you devise an effective plan of action. For example, some pests are more active at night, while others prefer daylight. Some feed on leaves, while others prefer roots or fruits. And then there are those that aren't really pests at all, but beneficial insects that can help keep the real culprits in check. But don't worry, you don't need to become an entomologist overnight. The key is to observe your garden, take note of any changes, and act accordingly. Believe it or not, sometimes the simplest solutions can be the most effective. And that brings us to the heart of the matter, organic pest control. You see, it's not about declaring war on pests, but rather about fostering a balanced ecosystem where every creature plays its part. And the best part? You can do it without resorting to harmful chemicals that can damage your garden and the environment. So if you're tired of the constant battle against garden pests and ready for a change, then stick around. This journey is not just about achieving a pest-free garden, but also about embracing a more sustainable and mindful approach to gardening. But don't despair. Achieving a vibrant, pest-free garden is not only possible but can be done organically. To win the battle against garden pests, you first need to know your enemy. And in this case, your enemies are the unwanted visitors that munch on your plants and compromise their health. So let's get to know them a bit more. First up are the aphids. These minute, soft-bodied insects are known for their love of sucking sap from plants. They often appear in large colonies, and if left unchecked can cause your plants to wilt and develop sticky honeydew that attracts other pests. Next on our list are the beetles. These hard-shelled insects may seem harmless at first, but certain species like the Japanese beetle and the Colorado potato beetle are notorious for their destructive feeding habits. They chew on leaves, flowers, and even the roots of your plants, leaving them weak and vulnerable. And then, of course, we have the slugs. These slimy, slow-moving creatures are nocturnal feeders. They leave behind a trail of mucus and holes in your plants, a sure sign of their nightly feast. Identifying these pests correctly is the first crucial step in managing them. Pay close attention to the damage they cause. Are they leaving holes in the leaves? Or are the plants wilting for no apparent reason? Once you start noticing these signs, it's time to take a closer look to identify the culprits. Remember, not all insects in your garden are pests. In fact, many of them are beneficial and help control the population of harmful pests. So don't rush to eliminate every bug you see. Instead, focus on identifying those that cause harm to your plants. It's also worth noting that pests are usually attracted to weak or stressed plants. So, maintaining the overall health of your garden can go a long way in preventing pest infestations. Healthy plants have a better chance of surviving an attack and can recover more quickly. Once you've identified your pests, you're ready to tackle them head on. Keep in mind, the key to effective pest management is understanding their habits, life cycle, and the damage they cause. With this knowledge, you can choose the right methods to keep your garden vibrant and pest-free. Now that you know your enemies, it's time to introduce you to some organic methods of pest control. These techniques are not only effective against common garden pests, but also contribute to a healthier environment. First up, we have neem oil. Extracted from the seeds of the neem tree, this oil is a versatile tool in the gardener's arsenal. It disrupts the life cycle of pests at all stages from eggs to adults, making it a comprehensive solution. Just remember to apply it in the evening or early morning to prevent sunburn on your plants. Next, consider diatomaceous earth, a naturally occurring sediment made from crushed fossilized algae. It's sharp to tiny pests but harmless to humans and pets. When insects crawl over it, it cuts their exoskeletons, causing them to dehydrate and die. Sprinkle it around your plants for a protective barrier. Companion planting is another organic method that uses the power of nature to your advantage. Certain plants, when grown together, can deter pests. 
For instance, planting marigolds near tomatoes can keep nematodes at bay. Basil, on the other hand, repels flies and mosquitoes. It's like having your own garden bodyguards. Another trick is to use traps and barriers. Copper tape around plant pots can deter slugs and snails, while a simple net can keep birds from feasting on your berries. It's about making your garden less appealing to pests. And let's not forget about beneficial insects. Ladybugs, lacewings, and predatory wasps are natural predators to many garden pests. By creating a welcoming environment for these insects, you're essentially recruiting a tiny army to fight off invaders. These methods are not only effective but also environmentally friendly. They reduce our reliance on synthetic pesticides, which can harm beneficial insects and pollute our waterways. By choosing organic methods, you're not only getting rid of pests, but also contributing to the health of our planet. Remember, the key to effective pest control is persistence and consistency. It may take some time to see results, but with patience and determination, a pest-free garden is within your reach. With these organic methods, you're not only getting rid of pests, but also contributing to the health of our planet. Did you know that not all insects are harmful to your garden? Some can actually help you control pests. Indeed, your garden is home to an array of insects, many of which are beneficial to your plants. These tiny superheroes, like ladybugs and lacewings, feast on destructive pests, helping maintain the balance in your garden ecosystem. Ladybugs, with their distinctive red and black spots, are not just pretty to look at. They have a voracious appetite for aphids, one of the most common pests that plague our plants. A single ladybug can consume up to 50 aphids a day, that's like having a small army of pest controllers working around the clock in your garden. Similarly, lace wings with their delicate, transparent wings are also valuable allies. Their larvae, often referred to as aphid lions, are voracious predators of aphids, mites, and other soft-bodied pests. Now the question is, how do we attract these beneficial insects into our gardens? The answer lies in providing the right environment and the right kind of plants. Beneficial insects are attracted to a diverse range of plants, particularly those that produce nectar and pollen. Plants like yarrow, dill, and fennel are great choices. These plants not only attract beneficial insects, but also add beauty and variety to your garden. Creating habitats for these insects to lay their eggs and overwinter is also essential. A pile of rocks, a log, or even a simple bug hotel can provide the perfect home for these insects. Remember, the key to attracting beneficial insects is to avoid using synthetic pesticides. These chemicals can harm both the pests and the beneficial insects. Instead, opt for organic methods of pest control, which are not only safer but also more sustainable. By attracting these beneficial insects, you're not only controlling pests, but also promoting biodiversity in your garden. So let's welcome these little helpers into our gardens and watch them work their magic. Let's dive into some DIY organic pest repellents and preventative practices for a healthy garden. First off, we have a simple yet effective garlic spray. Just crush a few cloves of garlic, add them to a liter of water, and let it sit overnight. Strain it the next day and voila, you have a potent pest deterrent that's completely organic. Spray it on your plants every few days and watch those pesky bugs scurry away. Next up, we have the chili pepper repellent. This one's a bit more potent, so you might want to wear gloves while making it. Blend a handful of hot peppers with a liter of water and let the mixture sit for a day or two. Strain it, and you have a spicy deterrent that pests simply can't stand. But remember, repelling pests is only half the battle. Prevention is the true key to a healthy, thriving garden. This starts with maintaining healthy soil. Healthy soil is rich in organic matter and beneficial microorganisms that help plants resist pests. Adding compost to your soil not only provides nutrients for your plants but also improves soil structure, making it harder for pests to get a foothold. Proper watering is another crucial aspect of pest prevention. Overwatering can lead to root rot and other diseases, making your plants more susceptible to pests. It's important to water deeply but infrequently, ensuring the water reaches the root zone where it's most needed. Regular monitoring is the final piece of our prevention puzzle. Keep a close eye on your garden, checking for signs of pest activity. Early detection is key. The sooner you spot a problem, the easier it is to deal with. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. By following these practices, you're not only keeping pests at bay but also creating a healthier garden. It's a win-win situation. So get out there, roll up your sleeves, and let's make our gardens not just pest-free but truly vibrant and thriving.